the most important things that I can tell you, which will double or triple your hookup rate, is sharpen them. Now, I buy hooks like these uh, by the box of a hundred, and I gang them together myself. But even the very good quality tarpon hooks, they are blunt when they come out of the box. Don't be fooled, just because a hook is new, unless it's one of the more expensive chemically sharpened variety, doesn't mean it's sharp. How do you tell if a hook's sharp? Try and drag it point first across your thumbnail. If it doesn't catch, that's not catching, the hook is blunt. Always carry with you a little uh, file. I've got a little diamond hook sharpener here. And just on, on two sides, the third side takes care of itself. Touch them up, especially if you've been fishing and retrieving through sand all the time. Look at that, that digs nicely into my nail now. That's a sharp hook. Believe me, that will double, as I said, or triple your hookup rate. Very, very important. The other important thing is when you're putting bait on a hook, make sure the barb, not just the point, but the end of the barb, protrudes right through the bait. That way, you've got a much better chance of setting the hook and the barb in the, in the jaw of the fish. If it's buried in the bait, particularly some of this tough bait with uh, skin on it and that sort of stuff, if you don't have it all protruding through, on the other hand, of course, apart from that, make sure as much of the hook is covered with the bait so it looks more looks like a bait and not like a hook. It's all a compromise. When I sharpen these, I get in a box of 100 and I, I sharpen them all up on the grindstone, very quick. If you're lazy like that and do it on, on a fine grindstone, just be careful, it's just a quick touch because the hook mustn't heat up. Because if it heats up too much, it will destroy the temper in the steel and they'll just snap very easily.